Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing a fun and interesting spin on a character design video. So I've been seeing this image kind of rotating around on Twitter and Instagram and a couple of the other social medias that I'm on. And specifically, it's basically asking the community to send emojis to make a character from. So I put a call out on Twitter to see what your guys' different emoji suggestions would be, and I thought today we'd pick one of them and design a character around it. So you guys sent in a lot of really cool emojis. I went through and looked through the list trying to decide what to draw today from the suggestions, but if you guys are on Twitter and would like to send some suggestions, I'm gonna put a direct link down in the description below to this tweet. So reply with the three emojis you would like to see combined into a character, and I can't wait to see what your guys' suggestions are. I have a feeling we're gonna have fun with this first one, so there probably are gonna be quite a few of these in the future. But with that, it was really hard to pick one, but I did decide on doing Zombie Bacon Studios, which is an Oni, a mermaid, and a dragon. That one was just screaming my name. I was just thinking this would make a really cool character to design. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in. We're gonna do some rough sketches, kind of figure this guy out and see how we wanna combine these three. I'm thinking some really cool demonic mermaid thing. So let's go ahead and jump in and get that started. Also a quick reminder before we jump into today's video, this is the last week of my spring sale where you can get the final run of a couple of old prints. If you wanna get 50% off any of those prints, use the code SPRING on and check out to get 50% off any of the old prints, as many as you want. Any prints that are not bought by this Friday at midnight will be donated to my local children's hospital, but grab them while you still can. So besides that, let's jump into the video. So with this guy, I was just too excited to jump in and work on him. So, you know, I usually do some like concept sketching or trying to figure out like how I want to do the overall construction for the character, but this one I was just kind of wanting to feel out as I go. So I didn't really do any planning sketches. I kind of had an idea of what I was thinking in my head. So I just kind of jumped in and tried something and just kind of built it as I went because I mean, I had the emojis up and to the side so I could keep referencing them and double checking and seeing you know, what aspects I could pull from it to put into the character, but I had a, I had a pretty good idea in my brain. Like combining things that I know was a lot easier, obviously, because I love demons, I love drawing demonic things, obviously dragons I also really love. And then mermaids, I guess, was the only one that I wasn't as familiar with. I've drawn a lot of like fish and aquatic life and a lot of like aquatic monsters, so I at least had some experience with that. Um, but I don't even remember the last time I drew, well, I guess the, the most recent time I drew a mermaid was for my coloring book. And if you guys haven't checked it out, I'm gonna do another shameless plug. Um, my website, I have a couple of different books, including the prints and other things. Um, and I have a coloring book where there's actually like a mismatched mermaid activity. I think it's a really fun little book. Um, it's all about mythology and mythological creatures and I had a lot of fun making the book. So if you want to check it out, kaitlinmckaig.com forward slash shop, and there's a link down in the description. But now, out of the shameless plug, back to this guy. Again, like like I said, I, I've i never really drawn a mer person, at least recently, um, in a serious fashion. So that part was a little bit different, I guess. It wasn't really, so to say, intimidating, because I already knew I wanted to make this guy look kick-ass and like, really intense and I was just excited for the demonic aspect. So I already knew I was gonna have fun with this. So the mermaid aspect was just kind of overshadowed by the excitement of a demon and a dragon combo. So after I figured out the initial sketch, it was time to jump in and do all the detailing. And I really wanted to accentuate the Oni features. So I had to think about like the different masks and how I could translate those into more aquatic looking parts. So a lot of like the spines and such that you could uh, relate to demons, like the little bit on the chin here, along the cheekbone and other places, I'm like, that would work well for like fish-like fins instead, like making them look more like uh, fins or um, for example, the, uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Uh, the lionfish, okay, that's what I was thinking of. So the lionfish has these really long and intricate and interesting uh, spiny fins, so I thought that'd be interesting to bring over to this demon guy and just kind of go along that idea and vein of these long spiny fins. 
And I also brought a lot of design aspects over to kind of like how I design just aquatic dragons in general. I really like adding those uh, webbed fins like along the back and the head and in different areas. And then I, like I said, I wanted to bring a lot of dragon aspects. So certain things that I do with my dragons and with like dragonborns or dragon like characters is I add, um, I guess you could call it scale plating. Uh, so along the forearm and the hand, I added these larger scales to give it some type of plating effect. And then of course I had to have like horns all over this guy. Like if he's a dragon, he's gonna be covered in spikes. He's gonna be really, a big spiny boy and really kick butt and kick ass like that and you know that also relates back to the lionfish in a way i mean it doesn't really have like horns or spikes so to say but it does have long sharp barbs on its body so i mean it kind of all works together and meshes together very nicely And with that, I actually made this guy's tail extra long as well to go with the dragon idea because I just really want to make a really long and intricate looking dragon mermaid because, you know, dragon's a big part of this. So I didn't want to just have the normal length of a mermaid tail. I thought to go along with the idea of a long, like maybe Asian long style dragon, I was like, we should just give him this really long tail. I have no clue how well it would actually work for propelling this guy through the water. It looks cool, but the uh, physics behind it, I'm not sure how well it would work for this guy, but I mean, aesthetically looks real nice. And I had a lot of fun doing this big twisty, turny tail. I always love doing those. I think that's one of my favorite parts of doing dragons besides the horns and the spikes is having a lot of fun with doing all these different twists and turns aspects to the tails. It just, uh, I have so much fun with that. And then along with that, I knew since this guy was a mermaid, I of course have to give him the, you know, quintessential mermaid weapon, which was a trident. And I had a lot of fun just playing around and trying to think of what to do with this one. I kind of thought of uh, large fishing hooks for the two sides of the trident, but then I wanted to add some extra spines and spikes to it to go along with his spiny, spiky aesthetic and uh, I think it looks really interesting, but I kind of wish that I made the middle spike a little bit longer or at least brought down the two side spines. I think that would make the whole thing look a lot better. So now it was time to jump in and lay in the base colors. So I just had to go through, lay down all the base colors and try to figure out how I wanted to combine them. So obviously, there's two colors to Onis. I'm saying obviously like I'm expecting you all to know. So if you don't know, um, Onis in Japanese mythology seem to come in two colors primarily. There's the red Onis and the blue Onis, which I thought worked really well for this guy because we had the blue mermaid emoji and then we also had the red Oni mask. And this was also hard because along with those colors, there was the green dragon emoji. So I had to choose between the different colors and try to figure out how to integrate them or like which colors I actually did for sure want to integrate with this guy. I knew I wanted to do red and blue and try something different because sometimes when you put red and blue together, I just don't feel it works. I know that they complement each other pretty well, but it's just, I don't know. Sometimes I just can't nail it. Like, I don't feel like I put red and blue very well together. And I think I said complimentary, but I think they're contrasting colors because they're opposites. I'm probably speaking out of turn, but you know, for example, they always put like for teams, you're always red team versus blue team. That happens all the time. So I've always seen these as like opposite colors. And obviously they are, they're the 
dark blue is a much cooler color and the bright red is a warmer color. So putting those two together, I've kind of struggled with in the past. So I was a little intimidating trying to figure it out here and trying to basically add as many different parts of the blues and reds that I could just to make sure I had a nice balance of different colors from the emoji and I didn't just like go all out on the red. You know what I mean? I didn't want to just make this only Oni inspired. I wanted to make sure to tap into those other emojis and the colors that were present within them. I also wanted to give a quick plug that this file is going to be the Photoshop file of the month over on my Patreon. So if you want to check out how I did the layers and added the effects to this guy, go over to my Patreon where you can get the full Photoshop file. There's also some amazing like sketch postcards that I do every month for my patrons and a lot of behind the scenes access. Like if you guys want to see some monsters I'm working on that aren't coming out on the channel or some behind the scenes for the creature compendium and other things I'm working on, go check out my Patreon. So now with the main base colors out of the way, it was time to try to experiment with, I guess, some extra bits of flair. So I thought about, along with the lionfish, doing some type of stripes, but it just didn't feel right. Like, I didn't feel the stripes looked very good on this guy. So I thought, why don't we make him kind of like a snake as well? I know there was not really a snake in the emojis, but I like the idea of like the circular eye-like pattern that some snakes have on their scales. And I mean, hell, Dragons are just giant flying snakes, so why not just bring in cool aspects of snake patterning into this guy's design? And I really liked carrying that over into his fins and whatnot. I just really loved the look and the combo of this like eye-like texture going down and up the body and then also within the fins. And I know, I just realized I probably overstepped my bounds. Okay guys, dragons are more than just flying snakes. They have some snake aspects on some of them. Some of them are more like lizards, but either way, we pulled from a reptile that probably similarly inspired a dragon to get some cool patterning in there. And either way, I love how this guy turned out. He was very much outside my comfort zone when I got started just because I I knew I liked the Oni, I knew I liked like dragons, but it was actually a little bit harder than I thought when I started trying to figure out how to make this a convincing mermaid. I know I probably just contradicted what I said earlier, but it, I, it's just, it was fun and I did learn a lot from it and I did try a lot of different things with the colors and made him much more pastel-y, probably not as like a bright, deep, intense red that some other Oni drawings I've done have been or like any other Onis in general, but uh, I, I love him. I think he turned out really cool, and I think this would be a really cool character to put into something one day. Um, but I'm excited to also see what other emojis you guys submit, because there's so many, and I cannot wait to try converting all of these into characters. All right, and with that, we are all done with this character design session, and I had a blast with this guy. I know I was probably, like, picking to my comfort zones when I saw those emojis, but I had so much fun designing this guy. Like I didn't think I would have as much fun putting like a dragon Oni mermaid thing together, but I love how this guy turned out and he would make a really interesting character for something. I don't know what, but maybe some really cool like spin on Aquaman or something. I'm not really sure, but I really love his design and I had a blast making him. It was also really fun to experiment with combining the reds and blues and purples. Again, a color palette that I don't really work with that often. So this was really a nice experiment and something to dive into that's different for me. And I had a lot of fun. And again, if you guys want to suggest any emojis, I really want to do more of these in the future. Go ahead and go to the tweet down in the description below and send me your suggestions. And I would love to see if you guys make a version of this. Please tweet it to me or send it on Instagram and like at me. I want to see what your interpretations of an Oni mermaid dragon would be. 
So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week ranging from character designs to monster creation to dragon creation. I do a lot on this channel and I would love if you became a part of this little community. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.